My 29M girlfriend 23F went back to the hotel with a married man. My girlfriend and I have been together a total of two years, with a four-month gap. Due to COVID we're both locked down and haven't been out much. She told me this week that a few co-workers were coming into town and were planning a socially distanced night out for drinks. Two girls and two guys, one of which we'll call, Frank. I've never met Frank, but I know he's married with two kids and just moved away to the other side of the state. I live close to where they were heading, five minutes, so I told her to give me a call if she needs a ride place to stay instead of driving back to her place, 20 minutes away. We text sporadically throughout the night and as she proceeds to get drunk, I remind her to just give me a call rather than drive Uber. I get a text later at night to, not wait up, I can Uber home. I tell her it's no bother. She texts me about an hour later to come get her and they've somehow ended back up at the hotel bar. So I park right in front of the main entrance and text her where I am. She texts, call me which I do and she answers the phone in an odd way asking where I'm parked even though I just told her in the text. Minor detail that becomes important later on, she comes outside and happily greets me. The next day we're back at my place doing work side by side and I see messages on Microsoft Teams popping up from Frank. I see random pieces like, F, why do you ghost me after you got the Uber, GF, I did no such thing. I was really drunk. I had too much wine. F. It's going to be a while before I can see you again. When can I see you? GF. Maybe in sept with the next meeting. F. Why didn't you let me walk you to the door? GF. I had to run when the Uber showed up. Thanks for thinking of me though. I question her about it and things blow up. Details start connecting. The group dissolved at some point during the night, and Frank asked my girlfriend back to his hotel. She initially told me that they just finished the night at the hotel bar, lobby. After more fighting, I request to read the rest of the messages which has one from my girlfriend saying, the 12th floor was so confusing getting to the elevator. Sorry I ghosted you, I had to leave when the Uber showed up. I flip. She confesses that she went back to his room, got cold feet, and decided to leave. I realize she had me call her at the hotel so it appeared to Frank as an Uber. She continues to refer to me as an Uber in the team's messages. She insists that he knows about me but there is no mention of me in the messages. Today she's crying confessing her love for me, asking what she can do to earn my trust back. After this flood of lies, I'm overwhelmed and don't know what to believe. I want to break up with her on the spot but I also love her like crazy. I tore into her and decide to leave. She said she would tell Frank that she has a boyfriend and that this has to remain professional and she's going to post photos of us together all over social media neither of us have any together. I left her place today around noon. She has yet to do either of these but I don't know what to do or how, if to move past this. So she tries to cheat on you, you break up with her, and she decides that posting pictures on Facebook will be enough to earn your trust back. LMFAO. She sounds really immature and tbh she made an idiot out of you. I think it would be best to stand your ground and cut off all contact. Listen being 23 doesn't mean you get to fuck some married old dude, and cheat on your partner. Her changing her mind is nice and all, but infidelity and lying isn't an age thing, it's a shitty person thing. I am sorry she did that to you, her compromises are bullshit and you should cut the cord for good. Nope. Find someone who is proud of you and wants to be with you, and isn't just guilty when they get caught. I recommend that you leave that relationship. Calling you her, Uber just considering going to this guy's hotel room, and then using your benevolence as an excuse to get out because she had, cold feet. If you stay with her, then you're gonna get hurt. Bad. Also, the fact that she says, she would tell Frank that she has a BF, tell me that Frank didn't know anything about you. It's ultimately your choice. But I will encourage you to think more logically than emotionally, because the trust between you two is severely damaged. With all due respect to your relationship buddy, I can't simply not just digest the thing that what's the problem for the girl, in this case yours, to confess in front of others that she is in a relationship. By not revealing it and hiding it I really sense some sort of dishonesty or desire to appeal the other friend at party. Look at it this way, if I met my female friends and I hide my relationship from them then, what do you think will be the reason of that? It's simply I have some desire for that person or some sort of connection that will be broken I that person knows that I am in a relationship. So this was my perspective with all that you wrote.
Regardless there's the two issues you face. The trust is gone for a long time, and she clearly has the desire to hide you and have fun with others. I personally believe in some sort of forgiveness if it's earned, especially since she seemingly backed out of the whole ordeal. If you're willing to put up with months of suffering, by all means. Up break up with this hoe. She has betrayed your trust and was only willing to elaborate when she got caught with condemning evidence. I don't think staying together would provide much benefit at this stage, it's likely she'd only try something like this again. She fucked Frank. I would dump this girl. You marry her and she will ruin your life. Deal breaker dude. You can't have your girl lying to you and sneaking around with other dudes, period. 100% fucking him, grow a spine and dump her. Seems like trickle-truthing may be happening here as new details continue emerging that were lied about before. So I'd already be skeptical about the, cold feet, part of her story. There could have been more incriminating stuff on other messaging apps. Even if she is being completely truthful she talked about meeting with him again, so that could mean she got cold feet but is working her way up to cheating physically on top of the emotional cheating she is already doing. She also doesn't care that she is doing all of this with a married man so obviously she doesn't think infidelity is a big deal. Personally I wouldn't be able to believe what she is saying, but only you can decide what you believe the truth is. Sorry you are being put through this. Do you really want to do the work of winning back the trust for her? When she goes out alone the next time, you will end the relationship in your head, because there is no trust. You will feel heartbroken a lot of times even when she doesn't do anything. In the end, you have to work for her mistakes, and do you really want to do this? Move past it by getting a different girlfriend. Frank sounds like an asshole anyway. Tell his wife. She deserves it. Nope. Don't go back to her and tell that piece of shit's wife what he did with your ex-girlfriend. Your ex is disgusting for even being attracted to a married man that would cheat on his wife to begin with. She's just as vile as he is. I can't with these situations. They get me so fucking pissed off. Give that bitch the heave ho. She's a whore. If she loves you she would have listened to you. With a married man? Nope. She's shown you who she is, but you're all over this thread looking for a reason to excuse her actions. You can stay with her and wait for her to betray you again, or you can have some self-respect and leave. They had sex. Sorry. I know this hurts, but, end it for good. Cut all contact. She will cheat on you. That is clear. Don't be a doormat. Have the self-respect that you deserve. Remember this. She tried to cheat with you, maybe already did. This got revealed cause she was stupid and you found out yourself. After you questioned her, she got angry and attacked instead of coming clear. Oh and she wanted to fuck a married man. Dot. She can not be trusted. So many red flags. 1. Break up. 2. Tell her company about their adultery. 3. Try to find Frank's wife and tell her. She has a right to know that her husband is a tramp as well. This is important. The first sign of cheating you need to break up with her if you don't she will know she can do it again and you won't leave her. If you brought a girl home and then said never mind I can't do it. But you can see me again September would your girl be mad? If it was that easy for her to get there then I wouldn't trust her. Sorry to say it but it'd be less of a headache worrying and being anxious about the future and never getting over it rather than getting out while you can before something worse happens. You dodged a bullet. Break up with her before she cheated again, or she break up with you. At least, at this point, you are still in control. This will make it hurts less. It will still hurts though. Bail it's over she was going to smash someone else game over. She had all intention and whether or not she followed through means nothing. Drop her ass and let her have the homewrecker. Unfortunately this is the end. That's deplorable behavior. Value yourself more than that. Leave. She obviously doesn't care because she would have told him to begin with about you, wouldn't continue to call you, Uber, and more importantly, she never should have went to the hotel room to begin with. Yeah. Break up with her. She lied because she knew she was doing something wrong, it's not like she defended her innocence. That should go to show she knows what's right and wrong and still does wrong knowing it might hurt you if you find out. Whoa. Huge location flag location flag location flag. Leave honey, she belongs to the streets. She was playing into her hypergamy, hoping to catch a higher value guy. 
but she probably had enough brains to realize he would only be using her for sex and she would not be replacing his family and had second thoughts. Hopefully the consequences of her losing you teach her a lesson and in future she won't even entertain such foolery. Horny. Do you know whether they did it or she changed her mind about doing it? Many will tell you to move on. They are not you and neither am I regardless of what many say. Alcohol brings out the devil in you. She's just confused and desperate while looking for a solution when coming up with proposed Facebook postings etc. My suggestion is to try to get over this glitch but it's too lame a reason to call it quits unless you are sure she has done it. Trust has to be earned so she has to earn it all back again. If you wish to, you can always give Frank a call and ask him what has been cooking. After all you have the right. But if you don't want to do that, then get on with your life. She might not be as bad as it sounds or made out to be. Personally, I don't believe it's a good enough a reason to call it quits unless you are sure they've done it. Relationships like marriages need adjustments and working out. There would be greater tribulations, for sure. It sucks now, but I would end it. She doesn't sound mature enough to be in a relationship or at least doesn't consider this one to be serious. It's easy to say to a stranger over the internet to end it with their best friend but I've experienced relationships like this before and can only promise that ripping the band-aid off now will hurt a lot less than the fallout later on if you do find her with someone else. At this point she has had plenty of time to cleanse her evidence and possibly give him a heads up. I would try and pass on the information to his wife as part of her making it right if you want to continue. She did several things each more disrespectful than the last. She knew she was going to have to come home at some point so she ended up, calling an Uber, she is trickle-truthing you and refusing to come fully clean. Dude, dump her, she's trash. Why do you have to ask when the answer is obvious? Info, have you asked her why she did it? It seems pretty random. Was she coerced? The messages she sent, Frank, don't sound like she wants to tell him why, how and to where she left. She also tried to put some distance in but he ignores it. What happened that she would come to his hotel? Your story doesn't sound like this is a normal behavior from her. As they always say, she's not sad because she hurt you. She's sad because she got hurt. Do you think you'll be able to trust her again? And do you think she won't do it again? You know her better than anyone here, but all we see are red flags. Once a cheater always a cheater. This statement has never been false from my experience. Bro. Your story sounds familiar to me. I paranally couldn't have accepted such thing. Why would she even lie, not mention you to Frank in the first place? You have to consider that she is still 23. I think today many girls that age don't know what they want. And if they get what they want they realize it's not what they want. Very confusing. An idea would be to ask her why she even considered going with Frank in the first place. If you feel her lack to express or explain herself then it's going to be some very tough years if you continue being together. Anyways. Be strong ma brother and stay sane. I see everything as choices and she chose to let you down. If you even want to be with her make her prove herself and earn it. However after that I'd never see her as a long term partner and the dynamic would change. Don't fall into her emotional crying and more lies influence you. I would just throw wrench into everything and see if you can tell F wife what he did because that's probably not the first time he did this. Make the decision that you would regret less. I don't know much about the situation other than what is posted here, but perhaps he took advantage of her. I mean she was obviously very drunk, he berates her about, ghosting him, maybe she wasn't very aware of what was going on. Like I appreciate she went to the room with him, but maybe she didn't really know what his intentions were until they got there and she ran. Like it sounds like she was uncomfortable. I don't know, maybe I have perceived this wrong, but at the end of the day she didn't go through with anything and she obviously loves OC and doesn't want them to break up. Leave and live. She is 23 and you are 29. Man find a better woman that doesn't play games. She will hook up with her co-worker next time again or for the first time. She fucked him that night and probably another night. She was way too comfortable with going back to his hotel and it screams I was fucking around with him before all this. On top of everything she planned to hook up again. When a person tells you who they are believe them break it off. I had a girlfriend do this to me. Confronted her and broke it off. It's not worth the trouble. Hmm. I don't know what else you need op. Blow Frank's world up. 
It won't help your case much up, but it definitely won't help his. Don't tell your girlfriend that you are going to do it. She will tip him off and you'll be painted as the crazy boyfriend. You come across as a good, decent guy up. Your girlfriend doesn't. You will never be able to look into her eyes ever again and see anything even remotely resembling innocence. Never. You can keep her on up but it won't work. Not in the long run. You will never be able to trust her. Good luck.